Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Kesh from Dr. Behind the Scenes. I cleared my FMG January 2023 exam with a score of 206. So the topic of this video is to talk about how to annotate first aid. So basically, say start करने से पहले, what does annotation mean? So as annotation is basically means if you buy first aid और कोई भी तुमने book खरी दी, वो अभी new book है, just print होके आई है, nothing is written there, nothing is marked there, वो just fresh book है. Now when you read it, you will mark what's important. You will mark your forgettable जो तुम बार बार भूल रहे हो. You will mark कि कौन सा PYQ में पूछा गया है, previous year question में पूछा गया है. You will write the thing important but it's not written there. So this marking, this adding things, this is basically called annotation. And we have to first aid in first aid. So now let's start with the topic. One more thing I have to mention is if you are in your initial years, first aid is not for you. Because first aid contains all the high points, it contains all the important points but one thing it does not have is concepts. First aid final year or the preparation phase is made for them not for students who are in initial years because in initial years your focus should be on building concepts not learning one-liners or not learning what's important not learning what is PYQ initially your aim should be on building concepts as much as your concepts will be later during your preparation phase it will be much easier now for building concepts you have to read standard textbooks not first aid first aid there are concepts in first aid contains all one-liners then there are 7 subjects in just 600 pages because there are important points there are frequently asked topics but there are concepts if there are concepts then there are 600 pages ok now coming to final year and students who are in preparation phase first aid is the best resource for these seven subjects. So first it contains biochemistry, microbiophysiology, pathology, pharmacology and medicine and psychiatry also. Psychiatry I didn't study but psychiatry also I'll mention it here. So these are the seven subjects which you have covered in your first aid. Now coming to the annotation part. So there can be two scenarios. First you are starting fresh. I mean that you are starting with videos and now you will watch the video then notes is at job second you have notes of some subjects ready like during your initial years to my notes but I now you want to make it concise because was your initial but I just can our concepts like him was a little bit of a drawing when I am there but now you want to make it concise taki taki during preparation phase me also easier device can okay now coming to the first scenario is when if you are starting fresh so if you are starting fresh, first thing you have to do is watch video from whatever resource you are using. Okay, and then if you just watch one complete video, let's say if you have Cushing syndrome, then read first it, same usi topic ka Cushing syndrome ka. Then uske baad see what are the things are written there, what are the things that are missing. So the majority around 80% cheese uske andar mil jayegi, rest jo 20% hai, wo uske andar nahi hogi. So 80% you already got, the rest 20% you have to annotate. So this is basically means annotation. Now you know what is important in this 20% and what is important in this 20%? By solving PYQs. So by solving PYQs you get to know what are the important points and which important topics are. So you have to annotate important topics. Important points and missing points are to write in the first time. I will give you an example okay. So again if I take an example of Cushing syndrome. So Cushing syndrome, ये pre-made notes थे, okay. So causes are written here like yetrogenic steroids, exogenous cause, then carcinoid tumor, the increased cortisol increase, ACT is an old cell cancer, pituitary adenoma. सारे यहाँ पे लिखे हैं इसमें. And then if you see first state, same चीज यहाँ पे already mentioned है like exogenous glucocorticoids and decrease ACT is then Adrenal adenoma, hyperplasia or carcinoma, then ACTS secreting, pituitary adenoma that is Cushing disease basically and bilateral adrenal hyperplasia. So, all the causes here are already mentioned. Okay. And another thing, if you see clinical features, so same, all the clinical features here are mentioned. If you see it here, here are moon fishes, obesity, myopathy, stri, all the things here are mentioned. Like moon fishes is here, truncal obesity is here, then buffalo hump is here, then your stri is here. One thing that was not written was proximal myopathy. ये चीज़ यहाँ पे mention नहीं थी, but ये मैंने previous year questions में देखी थी, ये पूछा गया. So I just wrote it here to make my notes complete. अब ये 80% इसमें covered था, जो एक चीज़ covered नहीं थी, वो मैंने यहाँ पे लिख दी. Now coming to अगर इसमें एक और चीज़ दिखाऊँ, one more thing was not written here was this hyperpigmentation 
is seen in which case hyperpigmentation is seen like which cause of Cushing syndrome hyperpigmentation is seen ये इसमें नहीं लिखी थी but previous year F M G में पूछे गए हैं बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन जो I just wrote it here कि A C T H increase hyperplasia hyperpigmentation will be present if A C T H is increased okay now इसी का second part ये था if you see workup और investigation वो सारी की सारी यहाँ पे दे रखी है treatment part इसके अंदर उतना mention नहीं था so I just pasted a sticky note and मैंने यहाँ पे लिख लिया so this is how I converted two pages of pre-made notes into just half page of first aid and ये सिर्फ two pages नहीं है because ये two pages जो मैंने दिखाया ये medicine के थे and even in pathology you will study the same thing उसमें etiology and more explanation के साथ होता है so उसमें भी around one या two page का होगा and इसमें भी around two pages so around four pages in just one page of first aid तो इससे फायदा क्या हुआ first तुम्हारे पास तुम्हें अब बस in future सिर्फ इतना सा part revise करना है for cushing and your cushing will be covered सेकेंड एनजाइटी कम होती है क्योंकि तुम्हें दिख गया कि तुम्हें सिर्फ इतना ही पढ़ना है इससे ज़्यादा नहीं पढ़ना है तुम्हें हज़ार चीज़ें नहीं देखनी है सारी चीज़ें सिर्फ इसके अंदर हैं यही चीज़ें हैं जो पूछी गई है एंड तुमने उसमें मार्क भी कर लिया है कि कौन सा मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज है कौन सा पूछा जाता है लाइक कौन सा पी वाई है सो so नाव तुम्हारी सारी चीज़ें एवरी थिंग इज़ एट वन प्लेस जस्ट इन फ्यूचर तुम्हें सिर्फ इसको एंड इसको रिवाइज करना है ओके okay. And I'll give you another example. Okay, so uh, this is basically neurology part, like type of dementia is there, vascular dementia, then mad cow disease, then HIV acid dementia. So in PYQ, there are few extra things that were asked, like pseudo dementia is seen in depression, like reversible dementia is seen in B12 deficiency. Uh, if dementia and chorea is mentioned together, then it can be Hutchinson's disease. If dementia and myoclonus is mentioned, then it is Bryant disease. So this was asked in PYQ. So by PYQs, I just annotated here. I just wrote it here. Ki a PYQ hai. And these are the things that were frequently asked, and these are the things that are important. So I just annotated in the first stage. Jab main revise karunga. So my notes bhi cover hoga. So mereko main videos se maine dekhi. Second, my PYQ is also covered. Third, my important points bhi covered hoga. Jo mereko dekhi. And if you guys need this annotated PDF, link is in bio and first comment section mein dalu. You can get it from there. Now coming to the second scenario. Now if your notes are ready. Now, the question comes, if your notes are ready, what are the benefits of reading first aid now? So, I already mentioned there is one main benefit is now you want to make your notes concise. Now, you have to concise it. You have to concise it with 600 pages, now you have to concise it with more. Because, the amount of notes will be more, the frequent revisions will be more, the revision will be easier. And the amount of frequent revisions will be better score. This is all you know. Correct. Okay. So, to make your notes concise, you will read first aid. Now what you should do now is to read your notes again जो तुमने बनाए हुए थे पहले just read your notes then read that particular topic from first aid and उसमें again तुम्हें same चीज देखनी है कि what are the things that are missing what are the things that are not written in first aid जो चीजें तुम्हें नहीं दिख रही इसमें नहीं लिखी है just write it here but 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 explanation मत लिखना for explanation you have your main notes जब कभी भी need हो you can go back there and read but इसमे explanation मत लिखना otherwise 600 पेज की first aid 1200 पेज इसकी बन जाएगी जो तुम नहीं चाहते कि बने so don't write explanation just whatever extra points is written in your notes तुम उसके उसको first aid में जाके उतार सकते हो okay now another thing if you are having difficulty with some topic while reading notes instead of going back to the main videos you can just search on YouTube उस particular topic पे and just watch two three videos उससे related एक video max five to ten minutes की होती है तो ज़्यादा time तुम्हारे लगेगा नहीं but उससे ज़्यादा better clear होगा than main videos से because YouTube में बहुत सारी animated videos हैं YouTube में बहुत सारे बच्चे अपने perspective से पढ़ाते हैं so it will be very easy to grasp so these are the basically two scenarios first I already mentioned starting fresh second if your notes are ready and you want to make it concise so yeah, that's it for this video. Hope it helps. And uh, yeah, if you guys need our uh, this annotated PDF to get an idea ki humne kaise annotate kiya tha, what are the things that I wrote, so you can just get it from a uh, link that I mentioned in the bio and the first comment. You can get it from there. So yeah, that's it. So thank you so much guys for watching. Hope it helps. See you. Goodbye. See you in the next video.